what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be the recap for the last of us season one episode two which i believe is just simply titled infected episode two starts in 2003 indonesia to be exact we see a pair of cops walking into a local restaurant to pick up a professor from the university of indonesia she questions if they have the right person and they say yes during the drive on to where they're going she is brought to a facility to examine a specimen the specimen is identified as cordyceps and the professor says this cannot survive in humans the professor the professor is then taken to examine a body in a room with protective gear on and begins picking at the individual's leg she asks if this bite that's on the individual is from a human and the cop says yes the professor examines the woman's mouth to pull something out and runs out of the room in terror the cop tells the professor back in a uh, different location at a, at a house it seems that this incident happened 30 hours ago. A normal woman suddenly went violent. Cops were called and they shot her. The bitten people were taken in for observation but were ultimately killed. The cops say they don't know who bit the woman but they need a vaccine to stop it from spreading. The professor says she spent her life studying these things and she says there is no cure. There is no medicine and there is no vaccine. The cop asks what do they do and the professor says to start bombing. Bomb this city and bomb everyone in it. She gets teary-eyed and asked to be driven home to her family. We then, of course, are jumping back to 2023 with Ellie sleeping on the floor while Joe and Tess watch her. Ellie wakes up, but they want to see her arm before she goes anywhere. Tess asks why Marlene had an infected kid. Ellie explains how she would be tested every day while under Marlene's care to see if she'd turn. Joel and Tess let Ellie go use the restroom after she answers some of their questions. Joel believes Ellie is still going to turn and considers taking her back to the quarantine zone. Ellie comes back and has breakfast with them. Tess asks why Ellie is so important to Marlene. Ellie explains about a Firefly base camp that's working on a cure and Ellie is the key to finding a vaccine. Joel says this is pointless but the three eventually calm down and keep heading on their journey. Tess asks Ellie how she got bit and Ellie says she snuck into a sealed location back at the quarantine zone and unfortunately of course got, got bit. Ellie reveals she's 14 and Tess congratulates her on being so brave at such a young age. She actually says you have some balls I think. Ellie reveals she's an orphan so no one is coming for her. They make their way to an abandoned hotel it seems and it's filled with water on the inside. Ellie says she doesn't know how to swim but Joel reveals that the water is shallow. Ellie begins pretending like she's checking into a hotel but runs into a dead body during this. They all end up making their way to the other side of the hotel. Joel and Ellie bond some more while Tess goes off searching. Ellie makes more smart remarks towards Joel before getting nicer towards him. She learns that Joel is from Texas, but Joel tells her to stop asking questions about him after it gets a little too personal for his liking. Ellie asks about lives of the infected. Ask about lives of the infected. Joel's tell Ellie infected can can last a month a long a month or longer. Uh, depending on I guess their lifetime frame is what she's asking for. Tess comes back to get Joel and Ellie and all they have. Tess comes back to get Joel and Ellie and they all make their way to a hotel balcony to observe all the infected from above. Tess reminds Ellie she's not immune from being ripped apart. Ellie asks what do they know or what do they do now since the infected are blocking the road that they want to go on and Joel has them all wake their, make their way to a museum. The inside of the museum is gross of course and it looks destroyed. Everyone is using a flashlight. Ellie finds a dead body and Joel says going forward everyone is going to be silent. Joel leads them upstairs, but the stairs begin to buckle and creak. They make their way into a room, but the ceiling falls on them nearly. A grudge-like sound can be heard from the hallway, and this, of course, is a clicker. Several clickers begin to surround them, and Joel says, be quiet. Ellie makes a breathing noise, causing the clicker to attack, and Joel defends them, saying to run. Chaos ensues around the museum. Joel hides from a clicker while trying to fill up on ammo. Joel mistakenly steps on glass and the clicker attacks him. Joel shoots it dead while Tess and him tag team another one after that. They all leave the museum going out a window. Joel and Ellie bond more on the other side of a rooftop while Tess joins them saying let's hurry before it gets dark. The three walk through the rows. They all make their way into another building. Tess gets frustrated and tries to find a form of communication. Ellie, re Ellie realizes Tess must be infected or at least she got bit. And Tess ends up showing Joel the wound to confirm that she was indeed bitten and is now infected. Tess tells Joel to get Ellie to where she needs to be. 
all the infected outside heard the gunshot that Joel just made and began running to the building. Tess begins preparing and decides to sacrifice herself so Ellie and Joel can get away. Tess stays while they run away and struggles to light a fire while one of the infected corner her. She eventually does end up lighting the fire and an explosion goes off while we see Joel and Ellie running away from the building. Ellie and Joel react outside before Joel storms off clearly upset about this leaving Ellie by herself. Now that was the episode in total not totality of course but that was the most important things that happened in the episode you guys can let me know if you enjoyed the episode of infected down in the comment section below i really did dig what they did in this episode knowing what i know about the game and having played the game a few times growing up it really just doesn't matter this show is still managing to get me on the edge of my seat they are executing these tense sequences so well the clickers look amazing the performances from pedro and bella and everyone involved so amazing so far the production design continues to just be so fantastic to look at and it reminds me of how much i fell in love with the game the first time i played it i have no complaints about this show once again i have no complaints about this second episode it's not as long it's not like a near full length movie runtime like that pilot episode but this is another solid in addition to this already phenomenal TV series and I cannot wait to see what they do in episode 3 which I'm hearing getting so much praise but you guys again down in the comment section below what were your highlights of episode 2 what did you like what did you not like what do you think is going to go on in episode 3 are you excited for episode 3 if you are someone who has heard nothing but praise about episode 3 like myself that's probably gotten you even more excited the way I know it's gotten me excited something about episode 3 has people saying it's one of the best pieces of episodic television in history it seems so i cannot wait to experience that later this week uh i hope you guys enjoyed episode two i hope you were enjoying the last of us if you are a fan of the game uh let me know down in the comment section below what you think will happen later on in the show obviously of course if you've played the game you probably have an idea but there could of course be tweaks that they make if they tweak anything what do you hope they tweak from the game or if you think the game is near perfect like i do and you hope they don't change anything you can still predict and let me know what you think is going to happen during the rest of the season down in the comment section below even if again if you're someone who hasn't played the game chime in again down in the comment section below let me know what your thoughts on are about this episode if you haven't already of course Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.